Hi, you guys. So y'all know how I get when all of a sudden a particular person is constantly being recommended to me on Google. I get very nosy. Very, very nosy. And I start to want to know why all of a sudden this person is a trending topic. Now, this person in particular is Carl Lentz. For those of you that don't know, Carl Lentz was the pastor for Hillsong Church in New York City. He was the pastor that was friends with Justin Bieber and countless other celebrities. And so, all of a sudden, he has resurfaced because he is going to rehab for pastoral burnout. But outside of that, the interesting part to me is the scandals that are surrounding Hillsong Church itself. So before we talk about Carl Lentz, let's talk about Hillsong Church for a second. The first article that I read was from the New York Times. And within the New York Times, there was a particular section in it called the opposite of gospel. The opposite of gospel, those who attend Hillsong do not become official members. Another way the church has rejected traditional norms to project a more casual, low commitment style of worship. Instead, those who want to deepen their connections to the community often take on volunteer work. All churches rely to some degree on volunteer labor to function, but several former Hillsong volunteers described a particular intense culture of working 12 or more hours a day and then being treated as low status workers by church leaders. After the staff enjoyed catered dinners on Saturday evenings at the church offices, volunteers would be summoned from home to come in and clean the kitchen according to Miss McCallahan, who worked for the church and was also close with the leaders, including the Lenses. Miss McCallahan recalled attending, along with Miss Lentz, a birthday party for a pastor's wife in a private room at a Williamsburg restaurant. And seeing a friend who was a church volunteer sitting at the edge of the room, the volunteer had been enlisted to drive partiers home in the wee hours of the morning but had not been invited to enjoy the party himself. Mr. Lentz seemed to surround himself with people primarily concerned with protecting his reputation. Melissa Zeroski, a volunteer who helped lead regular meetings of congregants for a year, said she heard rumors about Mr. Lentz's inappropriate behavior with a woman in 2017. Although she had not witnessed any incidents herself, she and her co-leader felt an obligation to report it to staff leaders. Her attempts to meet with the staff leader were brushed off, she said. Eventually, her story reached a staff pastor named Kane Kittnich. Ms. Gorowski said, who told her she was unfit for leadership and could no longer teach classes or lead her group. Her co-leader, who had also raised alarms, was removed from his position too. What happened to her felt like the opposite of the gospel and like a cover-up, Miss Zorowski said. Mr. Ketnich said he did not recall telling Miss Zorowski that she was unfit for leadership when he dismissed her. Mr. Houston told the Times that leadership looked into claims in cooperation with legal counsel at the time and found no evidence to substantiate the allegations but they are being revisited as part of the investigation initiated after Mr. Lentz's departure. So the reason why this particular part of the article stuck out to me is because of how much it reminds me of Scientology. I feel like this is the part of the video where I should say I am not attacking anybody's religion or faith or what they subscribe to. That's not what I'm doing. But there is a lot of people who have left Scientology who said that they were treated badly and that they were more or less used as a slave to help build this facade of perfection surrounding a church. So for me, Hillsong reminds me of Scientology of that, in that way of not treating the people that are part of that faith 
kindly or even that church. I'm not going to say faith, but a, a part of that church kindly, you know. So then the article continues. Mr. Lentz's dismissal happened quickly on October 22nd. A staff member at the church office in Manhattan found intimate text messages on Mr. Lentz's work computer. Ranine Kareem, a jewelry designer in Brooklyn, told the Times that she had been in a relationship with Mr. Lentz since May and that Mr. Lentz called her in late October to tell her their messages had been discovered. Now, they went through this whole cover-up removal of Miss Zorowski, who was pointing out to the people at the church that Mr. Lentz was engaging in activities that he shouldn't have been engaging in. They fired her just to find out that this information was true. A week and a half after the messages were found, he was fired. In his statement to the Times, Mr. Houston described the dismissal as the culmination of long simmering frustration with Mr. Lentz's leadership. This leads me to believe this church for a while knew all of his indiscretions and kept telling him that he needed to cut it out and he wouldn't cut it out. This church was building this guy up to be this amazing new age pastor and instead he's going out cheating on his wife and then coming in preaching to other people. That just doesn't make sense. He had reprimanded Mr. Lentz at other times over the years, he said, including after the pastor was photographed doing shots with Mr. Bieber. He said he had three meetings with Mr. Lentz over the summer to discuss leadership issues. Now here's the most interesting part right here. Mr. Houston has been forced to confront scandal before. An Australian commission found in 2015 that he had failed to inform the police about child sexual abuse accusations against his own father. Another prominent pastor in Australia. Mr. Houston's father was accused in the late 1990s of sexually abusing a young boy decades earlier. Mr. Houston pressed his father, who has since died, into retirement when he found out. Soon after, the two churches merged and were renamed Hillsong. I beg your pardon. This church has a long history of covering up scandals. There's no telling what else has been going on at this church. If you, a pastor, a church going man, are willing to lie to the police about your own father allegedly touching children. I have an issue with it. How are you in control of churches when you are hiding such serious information from your congregation? I was never aware of this. Maybe other people were aware of it. I wasn't aware of this when they were promoting Hillsong. I didn't know that in the 1990s, this man's father was connected to child abuse, child sexual abuse at that. And I think I should interject and say Hillsong started in Australia before Carl Lentz and uh, Joel Houston, who is Mr. Houston's son, uh, came up with the idea to plant what they, they called it, plant Hillsong in New York City. So now there's an article from the New York Post that is detailing former Hillsong members accuse megachurch of exploitation and homophobia. I just have a huge issue with megachurches. I don't like them. I don't feel like they're healthy for anything. I don't feel like they help the community. I feel like they're, they hoard a lot of wealth. It's just a lot. There's just a lot going on with megachurches that I don't agree with. But let's continue on with the article. So, this says, On the heels of its star pastor Carl Lentz's fall from grace, celebrity church Hillsong is now facing fresh accusations of behavior by former members. Being at Hillsong was really traumatizing. Former Hillsong member Naomi told Business Insider in a damning expose. 
While at the Australia-based megachurches Boston branch, Naomi came out as bisexual, to which her pastor reportedly responded by telling her that if she were to start practicing her homosexuality, that's where there's a problem. While also preaching that everyone is welcome at Hillsong. Naomi said she already suffered from clinical depression and anxiety, but her pastor's alleged unaccepting response to her sexuality and her experience at Hillsong further distressed her to the point where, in 2019, she said she considered killing herself. Following a harrowing night where she thought about purposefully overdosing, Naomi said she was admitted to a psychiatric inpatient program. None of the pastors ever visited her from Hillsong and that she left the church five months later. So now we have Carl Lentz, who is entering treatment for depression and anxiety and pastoral burnout. And maybe it's the wording that bothers me because pastoral burnout makes it seem like he just got tired of being a pastor. Uh, but I'm going to look at it as more of like you just got burnt out with work type of thing. So I hate that they said pastoral burnout unless he really meant that he was tired of being a pastor. But you have people that went to this church that also suffered from depression and anxiety and were treated negatively by the church. Like there's a, a slew of serious allegations surrounding Hillsong. And in the grand scheme of things, I would prefer that Carl Lentz just owned up to the fact that he was a cheater, that he let the celebrity of it all get to his head, that he took advantage of people that were a part of the church. He liked being friends with celebrities. He liked that lifestyle. And that lifestyle that he was trying to lead didn't align with the church. I would prefer that he did that instead of coming up with these. I'm not going to say that his depression and anxiety isn't real. But I will say that his depression and anxiety is probably surrounding the fact that all of this information came out about him. Him not being faithful to his wife. Um, you know, he's now being investigated for other incidents that might have taken place while he was a part of the church. That could bring, and you're no longer employed. You no longer have a job. So a lot of that, a lot of this, how he's currently feeling is probably brought on due to the effect of those things. But you have people within the church that are also suffering. But that's, it's crazy. So I will link the articles in its entirety down below so you can read them yourself. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Also subscribe because it's free.